All right, hey guys, I'm back with some more uh, Wolf Among Us. Uh, the the first episode of it was fucking intense. Like, it, those guys are the biggest pieces of shit out there, D and Dumb. And you know, I really want to kick the shit out of both of them because it's like killing somebody at a funeral is fucked up, man. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, like, favorite, and subscribe, and do all that shit. And I'm going to be finishing Bioshock uh, in a bit and doing a couple of the uh, episodes because they're really fun. So, uh, so yeah, let's get started. All right, there. So now we're back. still one of like the best songs like I, I really like that they did like this intro or whatever for this game like I think actually it's one of the coolest intros it's like Walking Dead they didn't really do anything it was just like swap to a chapter like I really enjoyed this intro that and um that and yeah it's just holy fuck episode 3 is crazy It's really sad too, it's like I didn't like Holly, but, you know, trying our best here, and we're walking the crooked mile. That's sad, it's like everybody's getting fucked right now. Wait, is that Coulson from fucking... No, that isn't Coulson. I did as well as oh, I, I thought that was Coulson from shot. fucking, uh... There's still some shards some, uh, left uh, embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're going to be sore. Thank oh, you. Dr. Swinehart. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more Uh, snow, are you Take okay? Strain off your heart. And try and get some rest. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Is she? She's fine, Bigby. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And, uh... All right, I'll chicken. try. <laughs> Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. Ah, Swanheart's a cool to. guy. I don't mind him. All right, then. Very good. Business office. Here, Mons. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big cool. B. So, to recap. Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this. Damn it, Buffkin, again with your drinking. Not about Fucking Buffkin, you Once drunk motherfucker. Once he pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I uh, that's the plan, currently. But, I, I don't know. I'll just wait for the mirror. That's the plan? Just Fuck wait yeah, for the mirror. We got a point. It's all we have right now. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if. I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you uh... really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but do you uh... really think he killed those women? Because it's just, it's incomprehensible to me. He killed them. And he sent D and Dumb to slow me down. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? 
Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. Uh, I feel bad for Holly. Even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And uh, I don't sure. want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Sure. It's <laughs> just... Shit hits the fan. When stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you no, I don't enjoy it. Just, you know, stop pretending. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What Fucking cream. Finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you Crane must have taken on. That's all piece. I can think of. Yes, it's uh it's not here. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was. Buffkin, don't give yourself shit. You did a good job, man. Work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? Months, no. We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he's never that smart. Shut up, Buffkin, you're not helping. have to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that it's mind that. Come help me look. <sighs> Gonna rub that goddamn lamp again. Oh, I can't, motherfucker. <laughs> Want to rub the lamp again? Uh, I, I was gonna rub that lamp and be like, "Come on, lamp." Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see Ooh. his witch, or that he would need That's to get a witch That's actually really good information. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got okay. his snow glamours from. Uh, see anything else? You didn't see anything else, did you? No. No, not, uh, not especially. Why didn't you try and stop him? Work. What do you want me to do? Yank on his head? Hey man, you're a monkey. <laughs> you can try. There are limits here. Okay, okay. Use that fucking, like, monkey strength. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Hey, you chill out, Buffkin. You, you mean it? Yeah. I'll just... That's okay, man. You take your time. Like you do that. It's important for you not to give yourself shit. Like, see, that, that, that's annoying, too. It's like, um... Like, with, with uh, this whole crane thing going on. No, sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking around also while I'm talking to you guys. Can't really... Uh, fuck. There we go. <laughs> Uh, it's it's like at least he tried his best like that that's the thing that you gotta like we gotta get buffkin like he like at least he saw something and he didn't keep his mouth shut so that's a good thing motherfucker motherfucker I knew it he to his room at the open arms uh, uh flowers and blood I want to know need to know a lot of blood and flowers I 
keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head, interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. Uh, we'll fucking get him. Press, we'll take know? him down. We'll fucking take that prick Don't job down. Us, no. We'll get him. Come on, let's keep looking. Hi, Iqbal Crane. There are some updates. Do an extra funding, late funding request. Uh, last letter. The conditions here could. Okay. I'm going to ask you again. Be pleased. Uh, it's the Security, uh, boy blue. Oh, okay, cool. So there are other uh, fables here. Uh, Mr. Crane, you said pay. Buster, uh, redone the building. <laughs> get your shit together. I love that. In big bold letters, it says get your shit together. Mr. Toad. Ah, oh, I love Toad. Toad's my boy. <laughs> Did Crane ever do any work? Oh, Only fucking... Fucking guy. I, I, I love... Oh, my fucking guy. I, I love him so bad. <laughs> He's so funny. Get your shit together. Oh, there we go. Well, 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 we got a book. Let's see what bullshit's in here. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm hungover, sorry. I'm hungover, I'm sorry. God, I love him, he's so funny. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. Oh, right. hey there, guy. What's sorry I gooned the shit out of you last episode. Yet. Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried Fuck to see but... your concern. Bluebeard, get the hell out of here. This is none of your business. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does, or who it's assigned to, since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I need who put you in charge in the first place. Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make Snow can handle it. Nobody, but that Who doesn't... Elected her Snow to can handle it, you asshole. Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, 
Excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that just so shut up, Lockton. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. 2 a.m. Piece of cake. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know Who gives a shit about the fucking Tweedles? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go Please anywhere stop else. The trick trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, just oh. stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things oh, up. Oh, yeah, part. they can. They can't get it. Yeah, have you played up. Walking Dead? Shit we gets fucked. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. Uh, no. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? All right, right here. So we're gonna pause it, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I know this episode was a little short, but I really have a hard time choosing decisions. And um, yeah, uh, shit's getting really fucked up right now. Uh, love you guys, and stay awesome. <laughs> Yes, I am, man.